In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful, who is the King of kings, Lord of lords, who is all-knowing, all-doing, all-seeing, and all-encompassing. All praise be to Allah Almighty. May all the blessings and bliss on the holy soul of Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the listeners and viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This time, I tend to say something about diversity, its importance, its presence in different forms around us and the ways, possible ways to treat and deal with diversity. We all are familiar with this thing that the universe we are the part of is truly very big rather gigantic. The cosmos is bigger than the imaginations of the human beings. And from the very beginning, since the very beginning, scientists have been entrusted to explore this cosmos and this universe. Universe is made up of, made up of different parts, systems, components and uh, elements. We see that we have sky, rather skies, we have shining sun, we have planets, we have stars, we have comets, we have shooting stars, stars, rather we have galaxies present in this universe and they all together, they all together form a beautiful universe full of diverseness, full of a multifariousness and full of heterogeneity. If we study the parts of the universe, they are many in number, still a large part of the universe is unexplored, efforts are going on, scientists are doing research to discover the undiscovered part of the universe. So far as the discovered part is concerned, we see planets, stars, galaxies, comets, sky, sun, planets have their moons that orbit their, their particular planets. Among the planets we see that we have Venus, Mars, Neptune, Pluto, Earth and Earth is one of the most uh, you know important planet in this regard that human life is only present on the planet Earth. Earth that is a planet that is the house of the human beings that houses human beings fine and this this itself is full of diversity full of multifariousness different forms of life exist on this earth on this planet if we study the life of human beings on this earth this society that the humans form is a basket of different cultures civilizations religions political styles political backgrounds races ethnicities behaviors trends, cultures, norms, traditions, festivals, festives, they all are present on this uh, planet, in this society and all these things, they, 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 they form uh, diversity. If we unbox the concept of diversity, we find multifariousness, we find pluralism in the society and this pluralism is, is responsible for creating beauty in the society, for bringing uniqueness to the people, for bringing identity to the human beings in this world, people with different cultures, people with different civilizations, people with different ethnic backgrounds, with different racial backgrounds, with different religions, with different school of thoughts, so all these things become the identity of the human beings and this is how we get our identity, we, 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 we find others identifiable, so anything that is different, anything that is unique, anything that is identifiable, anything that is interesting, anything that is exotic is the example of diversity. When diversity is giving us identity, where it gives us identity and it is necessary for, for our recognition in the society and we see that uh, diversity is ever present, it is ever increasing as well. In the beginning diversity was there, at present we have the diversity and in future diversity will stay around us. Fine. So this is how diversity is important. All the beauty that is present in the world is by the virtue of, of diversity. All the identities present in the world are to the uh, existence of diversity. All the entities that are identifiable, that are recognizable are by the virtue of, of diversity. So diversity is very, very important. We need diversity. It is necessary for the human existence. It is necessary for the human identity and we all are identifiable human beings. We have the individualities. My individuality is important to me. Your individuality is important to me. My race, my ethnicity is important to me. Similarly, yours is important to you. And this is how we form a beautiful basket 
basket of colors, of flowers, of fragrances, and we come together and we form a beautiful society. Uh, a very popular uh, um, psychologist, rather a social scientist, uh, uh, Stephen Covey, comes on this in his very popular work, Seven Habits. He says that there, uh, there are three types of people. He classifies the human beings in three categories and they, they treat and they tackle the diversity with three different possible situations, with three different possible ways. The first one is he, he classifies as diversity shunners, right? He says that the diversity shunners are those people who are afraid of diversity, who avoid diversity, who escape from diversity and they criticize all those people who are different from them, who think different from them, who have different beliefs than, than, those, than, than those of theirs. So when people think that the others who have different ideas, different beliefs, different identities, they are unnecessary people, they are not good uh, in, the, in, the, in the society, they must be uh, follow, they must be following our, our, our lifestyle so when you have this kind of behaviors where you are criticizing and you are looking down upon those people who have different ideas who have different ethnicities who have different beliefs so this behavior takes toward conflict takes towards concentration takes toward hatred and gaps among the human beings and this is very negative attitude but unfortunately we have people who have the profile of shunners, who have the orientation of the shunners and they, they escape from diversity. He says there is another type of people, there is another category of human beings, those are called diversity tolerators. They think that being different is the matter of human right. I think that religion A is correct, others believe religion B is correct. To me, my way of life, to you, your way of life. You don't bother me, I will not bother you. So it's another way of treating and, and, and tackling diversity where we think that everyone has a right to think their way, to do their way, to behave their way, to believe the way they feel good, fine. But this thing creates a gap. People don't come closer, they don't develop good working relationships, fine. So it is a kind of a second tendency, a second orientation that is found among the human beings that they only tolerate, okay, let it be that way, let it go that way, don't bother them and, and don't let others bother me, fine. So this attitude is also not that much workable, whereas the third category, he says, the people, those are called diversity celebrators, means those who accept diversity, those who respect diversity, those who value the differences, those who regard the differences. So they not only accept and respect the diversity, rather they celebrate, re they rejoice the, the diversity, they jubilate the diversity and they use it as a strength, they don't use it as a weakness, they don't criticize and they come into good relationships and they feel, they believe that two people who think and work differently can gain more than those two who think and work alike fine so this is a very strong point uh, we find that the people who think differently who work differently who behave differently they can gain more results they can gain more achievements so the people who are with this third kind of orientation which is called diversity celebrators we need this kind of people we need to be like that category we we we, we, we should fall in that category where we are accepting the people we are giving them respect we are giving them space we are coming towards accommodation and and, and, and and accepting people and let's work together let's think think together let's sit together let's grow together so when people of different orientations different and diversified backgrounds they come closer they sit together they work together it's very logical that they will gain more they will bring more productive results so Finally, we need to be a person of the orientation of celebrator and this is the take home message that let's be the people who celebrate the diversity. Why? Because celebrating diversity is the master key to enter a society that is full of peace and tranquility. Thank you so much.